Have you ever wondered how your immersive mix sounds on Apple Music? Well, there's finally a solution for those working in Pro Tools, Studio One, and Steinberg DAWs. Ginger Audio have released iRender Spatial, a solution that allows you to monitor your mix through Apple's Spatial Audio Renderer, regardless of your DAW. Stick around till the end of this video, and I'll show you how to access this complimentary software. Imagine being in the center of a sphere where music comes not just from the left and right, but from above, behind, and all around you. That's what spatial audio does. It replicates how we experience sound in real life, giving music a more immersive experience. This is particularly significant in Dolby Atmos, where spatial audio helps create a multi-dimensional sound environment making you feel like you're inside the music. Currently, there are two distinct modes for mixing Dolby Atmos on headphones, Apple's renderer and Dolby's renderer, also known as spatial audio and binaural, respectively. The Apple renderer is tailored for Apple's spatial audio, focusing mainly on delivering an optimal playback experience on headphone devices, such as AirPods and HomePods. On the other hand, the Dolby renderer is more versatile, it caters to a broader Dolby Atmos ecosystem, suitable for a variety of playback systems extending beyond Apple's products, to include home theaters, smart speakers, and various headphones. Essentially, while the Apple renderer focuses on compatibility and optimization within Apple's spatial audio setup, the Dolby renderer offers wider applicability across different systems and environments, a crucial consideration for audio professionals creating immersive mixes in Dolby Atmos. Up until now, monitoring your mix through the Apple renderer was only available in Logic Pro X, an Apple product. But for professionals who were working in Pro Tools, Studio One, or Steinberg DOS, you didn't have this option. That's where Ginger Audio comes in. With Ground Control Sphere, you can now monitor your immersive mix through Apple's renderer. Let's have a look on how to set this up. To access our render space, you want to be on the latest version of Ground Control Sphere which is version 1.4.7 or higher. You can find other videos on how to configure ground control sphere with your DAW, but in this video, we're gonna focus on the iRender Spatial. As a quick overview, you have eight available inputs to the left, which are labeled A through H. And for this example, I'm using input A for Apple Music, input B for Pro Tools, which is Adobe Renderer, input C for Studio One, and input D for Nuendo. For my main outputs, I'm using a 714 system, which is a speaker system. And for Alt-1, I'm using a pair of Aurotones. You'll notice in this new version that you also have additional outputs and an auxiliary section. You can access the metering for those outputs here. Let's take a look at configuring this with Pro Tools. We're gonna click on the gear icon and you're gonna notice that the input layout is a little bit different. To the left, you have your input audio device. This is where you choose your virtual sound card from your DAW or from the Dolby Atmos renderer. You can also give it a name, so it's not called input B, and you can add a plugin if you need to. The channels are reflected here based on your virtual sound card. And to the right, you have aux A, B, C, and D. And this is where we're going to insert iRender Spatial. Notice that you can turn on these auxiliary tracks on and off, and you also have a trim pot. Under aux A, we're gonna click Plugin and choose iRender Spatial. This is where you wanna insert the iRender Spatial plugin within Ground Control Sphere. You have a gain trim control where you can adjust the volume. You can also solo any one of the channels or mute them. Clear mutes and clear solos. In the render profile, if you're mixing for music, you can select music and choose binaural static. Let me explain briefly what these four modes are. Binaural static is the spatial audio with head tracking off. Binaural static personalized uses your personalized spatial audio profile when you scan your face using your iPhone device. Binaural head tracking enables head tracking. And binaural head tracking personalized enables head tracking while monitoring through your personalized profile. For this example, I'm gonna choose binaural static, then close the plugin. 
To the right side, you have your outputs, main one, main two, and aux. I'm gonna to go to aux, click the gear icon, and this is where I'm gonna configure my AirPods Pro. The first step is to connect the AirPods Pro to my Mac. It shows connected. Under output audio device, I'm going to select AirPods Pro, Stereo, Outputs 1 and 2, and close this window. Now let me show you how to use the MacBook Pro speakers. Let's go back to Input B, and under Aux B, choose I Render Spatial. In the Render Profile, I'm going to select Internal Speakers. That means that I'm using the internal speakers built into my Mac. External speakers is if you're using external speakers that support binaural playback. So if you have a MacBook Pro or an Apple laptop, you want to choose internal speakers. Close that window and enable aux B. Go to the aux B gear icon and configure the output device to be MacBook Pro speakers stereo. And that's it. Once you start playing music, you'll be able to audition it using your AirPods Pro configured to aux A and the MacBook Pro speakers using aux B. Another thing to consider is to ensure that the latency is set to a low value, such as 128 or 256. You also want to make sure that the master clock and sample rate are set accordingly to your primary audio interface. Whether you're an experienced audio professional or you're just dabbling in the world of immersive audio, Ground Control Sphere is your gateway to converting your home studio to a Dolby Atmos studio. iRender Spatial further enhances that experience, ensuring your mix translates on Apple hardware. As promised, you can find links to Ground Control Sphere and the iRender Spatial in the video description below. As always, if you enjoyed this video and found it useful, please hit like, subscribe, and share it with other professionals. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you again real soon. Peace.